Paramount Pictures in Hollywood. It's the Tom Likas Show. Tom Likas. Yes. Tom And now, here he is. Tom Likas. Thank you for joining into the Tom Likas Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about. It's a different kind of a radio talk program. We're the radio talk show that is not hosted by a right-wing wacko or a convicted felon. No! I am your host. Find out our toll-free telephone number. You're going to need it. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of our program. Here we are together again on the radio. This story from the Sacramento area, actually Turlock, California. This comes from the website of the TV station CBS 13 in Sacramento. A bride-to-be who wanted to get out of a date with a man she met on a phone chat line. Do you understand? She's a bride-to-be. And here she is engaged, but she's on a phone chat line, and she meets another guy and wants to have a date with him. But she then wanted to get out of the date. It says here she's in trouble with the law, but it seems her future husband is more forgiving. Sarah White is facing a misdemeanor charge of abusing emergency dispatch services. For telling authorities she had been hit on the head and dragged into the trunk of a car while sitting in a Sacramento park. White said she concocted the story after agreeing to meet a man, not the one she plans to marry, for a date in a Sacramento park. Instead of going ahead with the date, she called him and told him she had been kidnapped. The man called police, <laughs> who dispatched 60 officers to search for her. The 20-year-old white continued the lie when officers called her cell phone. This is a great story. White was arrested and spent two nights in jail after police found her in her Turlock home. Sarah White says she feels bad about lying to the police. But this is the amazing thing here. This this is what blows me away. This is the dub. Her engagement is still on. And she plans to get married in April. Now, there's all kinds of ways you can go with this story. We talked about some of them. You know, that's an example you could talk about what kinds of things you've done to get out of a date. And that that's a, probably a good topic, too, but we should probably do it. But the one that strikes me immediately, I don't know who the fiancé is here. By the way, you know, this woman is 20, so the fiancé is probably, you know, 21, 22, something like that. It, what, what, what strikes me is this. If you're engaged to somebody who does that... Why would you go ahead and marry them? The very fact that she is engaged but felt the need to get on phone chat lines to meet other guys indicates that she's not mature enough to be getting married. She doesn't feel she's had enough fun yet. She still has needs that have not been fulfilled. She is not mature enough yet to get married. This is why I tell 20-year-olds all the time, you are not ready to get married. This is what I'm talking about. You know what? You should be unmarried, unencumbered, and free to get on phone chat lines, or personal ads, or websites, or go to clubs, go to bars. I mean, Christ, at 20 years old, you haven't even been legal enough to go to a bar yet and have a few drinks. Meet guys at a bar, meet guys at a dance club. You can't even legally do that. Why are you insisting upon getting married? It's my question all the time. But here's the deal. You know, I keep telling people not to get married, but they do it anyway, and I know they do. Why would you... I, this is the thing. How do you forgive something like this? 
Like, doesn't this tell you, who is the fiancé? I'd just love to get my hands on him. Don't you think this guy ought to just say, goodbye, goodbye, get out, goodbye. You were going to cheat on me, and that's why you went to jail, because you were going to cheat on me, and then the last minute you decided to call it off and use this ridiculous lie. Why in the world would you want to marry somebody who's still getting on the chat line? I mean, we always talk about the women who have the MySpace pages, the Facebook pages, the women who have the webcams, the women who have 17 email addresses and instant message screen names and what have you. I don't know why you'd want to marry any of them. But a woman who gets on a chat line and actually arranges to meet a guy and you're still going to get married? Why? I mean, could there possibly be a good explanation for this? Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-TOM. Well, break it down for me. Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-866. You are on top of your game, my friend. On top of your game. Thank you. It's the Tom Likas Show. His show. Oh, look, there's more on this story. How about Sarah White? It's in the Sacramento Bee. First of all, there's a photo of her. I guess a mugshot. This woman is the typical homely mutt that is uh, looking for love on the Internet. If you could see what this looks like. Oh, holy cow. Just amazing. Sacramento Bee says about this story, which started as a case of cold feet for Sarah White, led to two nights in jail, a scorned fiancé, and five dozen ticked-off cops. Those are the end results of White's cautionary tale, a two-hour drama that unfolded Monday morning after the 20-year-old Turlock woman claimed she had been kidnapped, police said. It was all a lie. White admits, made up so she wouldn't have to go through with meeting a man behind her fiancé's back. In a telephone interview, White said, basically, it was the only thing I could think of. White had spent the past two weeks exchanging secretive phone conversations with a man named Fernando, a guy she met through a telephone hotline service. After speaking five times a day, the pair set up a meeting at a Sacramento park on Monday. And you can only imagine what they were going to do in the park. <laughs> Fernando. <laughs> Just before she was to leave for Sacramento, White changed her mind, realizing her love for her fiancé was too strong. <laughs> of course, she was talking to Fernando five times a day. So she called Fernando and told him she had been kidnapped while sitting in the park. Fernando called the police, who contacted White on her cellular phone. Over the next two hours, White began to spin what the police described as an elaborate story, beginning with the claim that she had been bonked on the head and dragged into the trunk of a car. She said she had been taken to a McDonald's parking lot in Sacramento. I described places in Turlock, she said. I've never been to Sacramento. She said she had asthma and was having trouble breathing. Not true, she now admits. And she described a white house with green trim. That's the house I live in, she said. That's brilliant. In the meantime, nearly 60 officers from the Sacramento region, many called in on their day off, you bitch began scouring the area for the young woman, at one point surrounding a White House with green trim. Sacramento Police Sergeant Matt Young said she tells us she's in the trunk of a car. She is whispering as to not let her captors know she has a cell phone. Eventually, as police became suspicious of White's story, an officer was sent to her home, Young said, and the young woman answered the door. At first, she thought about continuing the line. You're not home. Can I take a message? I'll tell her you were here. No. She uh, said she quickly changed her mind. 
After spending the next two nights in jail, <laughs> White was arraigned in Stanislaus Superior Court on a misdemeanor charge of abusing the emergency dispatch services. Do you remember who else spent a little time there at that uh, Superior Court in Stanislaus County? That's right. You remember? Who was, uh, who was Lacey Peterson's husband? <laughs> Scott Peterson, that's right. Scott Peterson, Stanislaus County. Says here, if convicted, she could face up to a year in jail, a fine of up to $1,000, or both. You know what she'll get. She'll get three days of picking up cans on Interstate 80. That's what she's going to get. I'll tell you right now. It was a very scary experience, she said, of her trip through the legal system. I don't recommend it to anybody. I was a good student in school my whole life, and I never got in trouble. I've tried to do the best with my life, and a lie caught up with another lie, and that's all. She said she feels terrible about misleading all those cops. How about misleading the fiancé? <laughs> of wasting what Young said was thousands and thousands of dollars of resources. Young said we told her to hang on. We told her we were going to save her. And all this time she's sitting in her living room. White said that if she could... Hey, now, by the way, note this. If she could, she would drive to Sacramento and apologize to every officer who spent the morning looking for her. But she can't, she said, because she doesn't have a car or a driver's license. So how is she going to drive to see Fernando in the park in Sacramento? Going to have her best friend drop her off in Sacramento? Is that what she was going to do? Are you kidding me? Says here, as for her engagement, she says she's talked things over with her fiancé, whom she declined to name. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be a little search for the Sacramento Bee. We'll probably find out who she's engaged to. They probably have, like, wedding announcements, uh, engagement announcements. What are we going to just search the text of the uh, Sacramento Bee? We'll find out who she's engaged to. Give that sucker's name out on the air. But the wedding is still on. The big day is planned for April. I learned my lesson, she said. I feel bad about this prank and for lying to the cops. But she says, I don't feel bad about backing out on Fernando. Would you, after that, would you still want to marry somebody like this? If somebody did this to you? 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. It's 1-800-5800-866. Josh on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. What's going on, Tom? Not much. Hey, you know what? This guy is as loony as this chick. If he's going to stay with that chick, he is crazy. I'd like, to know why, I'd like to know what chat line or website he met her on. That's what I'm saying. Hey, DTB, Tom, dump that bitch and run, because obviously she's crazy. I think so, too. Uh, but I think, who's crazier, her or him for wanting to marry her? You know what? She's creative crazy. She's like Looney Bin crazy. He's just like crazy for staying with her, but she needs some help. So she's going to go through all that. Um, have you ever been to Turlock? I have not. It's a hit town. There's nothing there to do. They're all crazy. All there is, all there is to do in Sherlock is to sit in your front yard and drink beer. That's why they come up with all these kooky, crazy things to do. That's an agricultural area, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it's right by Modesto. It's like right. maybe half an hour away from Modesto. Right. In Stanislaus County. But there's nothing to do. No wonder they're all crazy. They're all crazy. They're all crazy. <laughs> They're all crazy. Really? So you think this is happening all the time uh, up there? Not all the time, but I mean, when there's nothing to do, I go there maybe once a year. But I can't. Every time I go, I can't wait to come back to my home in Scottsdale. What do you have relatives there? I got a few relatives there, and there, and that's why I only go once a year. Got it. All right. So you say to dump that bitch? Well, I know I would. I would have been engaged to her in the first place, but that's beside the point. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Tom on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey there. You know, here's the big the thing that I've noticed. There's no commitment all the way around. you got to figure, she said she's getting married in April, right? Is that April of next year? I assume. Well, okay. How long have they been engaged? There's, 
they're not serious at all. I'm getting married in a couple of months for a couple of months. My, my feeling is if you're going to get married... You're gonna get married. Get a better cell phone. That's what I. That's what I think. CJ on the top like his show. Hello. Hi, Dad. Hi, dear. It's me, CJ. CJ, my daughter. I know. I miss you, Daddy. Darling. I know. I've been a bad girl, but we'll get into that later. Indeed. But you know, I think uh, this little white chick should have to pay for all sixty officers that took their time because she is one dumb. Bitch. I agree with you. Well, see, then I shouldn't get spanked tonight. You'd love to get spanked tonight, darling. Oh, yes, I would. I could feel it already. I have an open palm with your initials on it. Oh, I can hardly wait. Oh, Daddy, I haven't had any sausage. Could you take me out, Kobe style? <laughs> Here you go. Oh. Oh. This is about us. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. Look at her beats in my heart. Oh. Yeah, I breathe. She's so special to me. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. This is Graham on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. What's going on, Tom? Not much, Graham. How you doing? Doing great. I just wanted to call and comment real quick. I cannot believe uh, this woman, and I can't even understand how this marriage will even continue. Well, first, I don't know if you could see the picture of this chick. I don't know why anyone would get engaged to her anyway. I mean, this is one doggy face two bagger if I've ever seen one. Talk about fugly. Holy cow. Absolutely ridiculous. I mean, she's, she's trying to claim she's smart. She's been through school and she knows all this stuff. Does she know anything about paying for taxes, wasting all that resources with those cops? And I mean, just everything she put the county through and it's ridiculous. Unbelievable. Uh, would you want to marry her? Ew. Oh, my God. I Wow. One of, one of the more unbelievable things. But, I mean, hey, there, there are some guys out there that just don't mind. They don't know any better. Uh, I think you're right. I, I mean, he must be a piece of work. It's that, I'm only trying to imagine the, the relationship and how, how that goes day by day. I'm imagining, I am imagining here that this is another case of Internet romance. Two anti-social, agoraphobic people getting together on the Internet. I agree. I, Socially I, challenged. I, I couldn't even imagine just meeting somebody just on a chat line. You know, I mean, that, a date for them would be going, a date for them, a date for them would be going to the Renaissance Fair. That sounds absolutely exciting. <laughs> <laughs> you me up? Of course I can. Eight hundred Tom is our telephone number. This is John on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. How you doing today? Great. I tell you, you know, I think that this girl is a manipulative bitch. She's got this guy wrapped around her finger because he doesn't listen to you, and he's 20-something years old, thinks he met a girl of his dreams in Hickville, California, in high school, and now he's going to believe anything she says. She's already playing him for a fool talking to other guys, going out. Now she's trying to play the police for a fool because she thinks she's hot to trot. By the way, you got to see her picture. Yeah, well, she, she could be as ugly as hell. But, you know, that doesn't mean that she doesn't think that she's queen of the... Queen no, of I mean, the but, uh, if you could see this, the idea that somebody's engaged to this woman is, is laughable. Her name is Sarah White. Yeah. You've got to see it. I, I don't want to. <laughs> I would rather not. I mean, come on. I really agree with you, though. This guy needs to listen to you, dump her, and, and maybe maybe we're, we're not giving enough credit. Maybe he's just going to put her through hell and then kick her to the curb. But I bet you're right. I bet you he's just an idiot. He's going to stick with her until she, uh, you know, until she gives him some STD and he dies an early death. <laughs> <laughs> One eight hundred five eight hundred. Tom is our telephone number. This is Mark on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, Tom. How you doing? Great. Terrific, my friend. Uh, the guy that's with the gal that got the cops involved. Birds of a feather flock together, don't they? That's what they say. This guy has no chance. He's going to take her back, and he is the biggest sucker on the planet. 
<laughs> He's a loser, Tom. <laughs> Take me out, bong hit. Take me out. All right, Mark. Here you go. <coughs> Here's Jimmy on the Tom Like His Show. Hello. Hey, what's going on, Tom? This is Jimmy. Uh, first time listener, long time call. I mean, first uh, first time listener. I used to live up there in Modesto, and that place is just totally ridiculous, full of people that, you know, tweak out and stuff like that. I don't know if you remember uh, back when the Yosemite killings, the same part of town, Stanislaus County. <laughs> you know, remember when they kidnapped that lady and her two daughters or one of her daughters and her friends? That's what it's all about up there. There's so many inbred people up there. So many rapists. When I used to live up there, I used to read the newspaper. A rapist here, a rapist there. There's, you know, people should look where they live. You know, there is that, that what, um, pedophile file that everybody could look. That's the first thing I looked up when I moved up there. There's so many damn pedophiles. It's bad up there. You know? <laughs> and everybody's homeless up there. There's nothing up there. You're, you're lucky if you get a job that's not seasonal. Wow, you paint a pretty uh, dark picture. Oh, t trust me. The homeless rate is almost big as L.A. That's how bad it is up there. That's pretty hardcore. Oh, yeah. Well, majority of the people up there, they're all tweakers. Big time. <laughs> well, Jimmy, uh, thank you for that. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. It's Ryan on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey Tom, long time disciple, Doctor Tom. Thank you. And uh, your 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 words of wisdom work. Hey, uh, I've got a guy a way that this guy can redeem himself. Um, have him uh, go ahead and go all the way through all the wedding procedure and do all of that stuff. Leave her dumbass standing at the altar. I like it. There you go. There you go. And that's that's uh, that's from turning from your way of thinking. <laughs> so this this guy can actually salvage all of this that's been done to him, not say a word to anybody, and just walk up there and leave her standing like an idiot. I wonder where they're holding this wedding. Where's it going to be, like uh, the, the Shakies? Where are they going to hold this wedding? <laughs> the parking lot at Denny's. <laughs> yeah, they couldn't afford to actually hold it inside. <laughs> yeah. Blow me up, brother man. I'll blow you up, baby. Eight hundred five eight hundred. Tom is our telephone number. It's Chris on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. Why don't all these guys just come down to Hollywood and go gay? There's no women hassles that way, brother. Homosexuality is the answer, my friend. Sounds like I you would know. In Hollywood. It sounds it's like you would know. Go, it sounds like you would know, son. Yes. Come on down to Hollywood, big Tom. By the way, it's West Hollywood, Chris. Are you uh, not from SoCal? He's gone. <laughs> yeah, there you go. That guy, you going to tell people we made a great prank phone call to the Tom Likas show. <laughs> yeah, but he had no material. <laughs> that might have been funny in like the 50s or the 60s if you were calling a radio show. But come on, come on. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. This is Rob on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, Dad. Son, how are you? <laughs> Very good. You know, this is a prime example of you get what you can afford. So all the boys out there, go to college. Otherwise, this is what you're going to be left That's with. That's exactly right. You're going to be engaged to this. Have you seen the picture yet? Oh, my. I haven't had a chance to look. I'm not really thrilled to find oh, out. Oh, yeah. No, you have to see this mugshot, boy. It's She's got ears like uh, Prince Charles. you got to see this. That sounds scary. Oh, my goodness. Sounds and uh, and uh, the carpet doesn't match the drape. She's got, like, that uh, weird dye job on her hair where she didn't bother to do the eyebrows also. Oh, no. Yeah, it's pretty that's bad. Horrible. Yeah, it's bad. <laughs> well, that's all I have. Uh, take me out old school there, Tom. I'll take you out old school, baby. Five eight hundred. Tom is our telephone number. 
We are talking about one Sarah White. Sarah White is the woman who is engaged to be married. She's 20 years old from Turlock near Sacramento. Stanislaus County, California, to be exact. So there she is, engaged to get married. But uh, meanwhile, she's on a chat line talking five times a day to a guy named Fernando. And she finally makes a plan to meet him in a park in Sacramento. Then at the last minute, she gets cold feet and decides she doesn't want to screw around on her fiancé. So uh, she tells Fernando that she's been kidnapped and bopped over the head and put in the trunk of a car. And uh, Sacramento area police forces, uh, it turned out about 60 officers showed up to uh, look for this woman on their day off in many cases. Only to find out they'd been had. And she went to jail. And now the fiancé is still going to marry her. My God, if you were, let's face it, I hope you wouldn't get engaged to this woman in the first place. But if you were engaged to a woman and then found out that she had been on a chat line and she was trying to meet people and she got in trouble while she was doing that, would you get married to her? Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. If you had sex with me because I said I was a doctor, by the time you find out I'm not a doctor, guess what? I had sex with you. I got what I wanted. You Next could. victim. The Tom Likas Show. Hollywood, the Tom Likas Show at 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. By the way, do a little Google on this Sarah White. Get a look at the photo. There's like a mugshot online. Don't take my word on this. Take a look. Sarah, S-A-R-A, White. Carlos on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, what's up, Pop? Not much, son. Hey, you know what? There's only one word for this guy. It's idiot. That's it. This guy is so desperate. That was probably the first girl he's ever been with. <laughs> ever. So this guy is not even whooped anymore. The guy, that's just embarrassing. It's embarrassing. I've seen her picture. She's huge. You know, the guy, you know what it is? When a girl goes out looking for another guy, it's because you're not satisfying her. She reminds me of that Susan Smith. Do you remember that Susan Smith who strapped her kids into the back seat of the car and drowned them and then said she'd been carjacked? Yes. That big, fat, trailer trashy looking. I, I don't know how the hell she drowned because she, she should have floated with the car and everything. Well, she didn't drown. That's the point. Uh, she, there you go. The kids drowned. She was the one who drowned them. And then she told the cops that she'd been carjacked by some black guy. Oh, this man. chick kind of looks. This chick kind of looks like her. Yeah, she does. Yeah, she does. Poor guy. The guy. The guy's. Oh, he pees on his fingers whenever he has to go. <laughs> All right, that's that's about as far as we're taking that. One eight hundred five eight hundred. Tom is our telephone number. Teddy on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hello, my. I can't say father. I have to say brother because we're the same age. Yes. How you doing? Great. How you doing, Big Tom? Great. I'm glad to hear it. Yes. I got a crazy one. I got a crazy story for you, Tom. Yeah. This girl is, is she comes from a wealthy family in the Sierra Madre Hills, and uh, she's beautiful. Remember Susan Anton? Yeah. Back in the day. Yeah. She looked like she looked like her with a tan. That's how that's how hot she looked. Wow. Anyways, I know that's what I said, and I'm working at the hospital. She's working at the hospital. So I start dating her. We have the most incredible sexual experiences ever. And one day I asked her, you know, let's go out on a date. We weren't even going on a date. We were just having sex. So I said, let's go out on a date. I call the house. I'm on my way. I get to the house, and she's not home. So I wait a half an hour. Maybe she went to the store or something. Nothing. I keep calling the house. Nothing. So I go home. And I'm about midnight. That same night, I get a phone call from the Pasadena Police Department uh, lieutenant. And, and he says, uh, when, when was the last time you spoke to this person? And I said, uh, yesterday, but she never showed. We're supposed to be on a date. And he goes, uh, we haven't found her. She's been, you know, missing for 24 hours. And I go, what? And come to find out it was all a lie that she, hate her, she hates her father so much that she used me to get in the middle of this ongoing investigation of a missing person 
Supposedly she was missing. She was raped by several people, which never happened. And I said, right the very next day, I said, look, we're just going to have a couple more meetings together, and then I'm done with you. Because <laughs> it was that good. <laughs> it <was really> good. <laughs> so you had sex with her again. You're lucky that condom yeah, yeah. didn't leak, pal. I'll tell you right now. Oh, man. It was great, Tom. It was the most, it was sublime. <laughs> really? <laughs> I mean, I, I've yet to find another physical woman, a woman to be as physical and as demanding as that. It was like an un uninsatiable appetite that she had in the bedroom. Incredible. Not uninsatiable. And she know, it, insatiable. And she, yeah, yeah. And she knows who she is. She's out there. She listens. So, hi there, Kathy. It's <laughs> unbelievable. Listen to you. You're giggling. I love that that woman in that bedroom, man. That was uh, I could tell. I was that was I was twenty. That was twenty. I was twenty one years old then, and I'm the same age as you are now, and I still don't forget it. <laughs> 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 Thank you. Can you take me out Kobe style, following uh, screaming female orgasm, my brother? You bet I can, Eddie. Here you go. Oh. Oh. This is about us. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. Yeah, it beats in my heart. Yeah, the air I breathe. She's so special to me. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. Let's continue our conversation here with John on the Tom Likas Show. What's up, Tom? I'm doing okay, John. So um, I'm listening here, listening to all the feedback and everything, and I'm, I'm starting to think to myself, I wonder how Fernando feels about all this. Well, I wonder if he's seen the stories. I wonder if he's aware yeah. of how far this went. I mean, obviously, we figured out he's probably got the best end of the deal so far, but I'm just saying I'm not familiar with the legal system, but I'm pretty sure if, lucky for him, this bitch wasn't so dumb <laughs> that uh, she went through with it. He would have called the police saying this girl had been kidnapped. She wouldn't have corroborated the story. He probably would have gone to jail. And over what? Yeah. Oh, I, I know. I know. Isn't that outrageous? I'm just thinking, you know, it sounds like he met this chick either on a phone service, maybe on online dating, although... Obviously, if it was online, he no, you know these chat. No, no, no. I know what they're talking about. They these chat lines where they're advertised on TV. I don't know if they have them in LA, but uh, they have them in other cities where we've been. Uh, you call a local number, and they charge you some permanent charge to be on there. Uh, that one of them's called Lava Life. There's a bunch of these. You call up, and there's supposed to be all these desirable single people on there waiting to chat with you. Yeah, of course. That's real life. Of course. Yeah. Well, of course. Desirable single people are out getting laid, uh, where they're getting their rent paid for by rich people or whatever. <laughs> but they're definitely not sitting on the phone waiting for you to call. So this girl's dumb. She's fugly, but oh, she's got a sexy voice. John, if only you could see this photo. I'm telling you. I'm as soon as I get near a computer, I'm going to look it up. She I looks like an Irish setter. Oh my I god, it's bad. Oh, oh my god, she's hideous. So let this be a lesson to all the listeners, not that they would, but definitely no no phone lines. Stop with the phone lines. Stop with the online dating. Stop. Try it before you buy it and all that. <laughs> can, you, can you take me out with a bong hit? Of course I can, John. Here you go. Thanks. One eight hundred five eight hundred. Tom, this is Matt on the Tom Like His Show. Hello, Tom. Love the show. Thank you, Matt. These two are idiots. They deserve each other. She's an idiot for what she did, and he's an idiot for going back. Someone should pay for the wedding and let them get hitched together so they can stay off the market. <laughs> exactly. I mean, they, it's a match made in heaven. They deserve each other. Uh, that's right. Blow me up, Tom. Here you go, Matt. through these calls pretty quickly, so uh, if you dial in, we can get you in before the end of the hour. 1-800-5800-TOM is our number. 1-800-5800-866. We're talking about this chick named Sarah White from Turlock, California. And uh, there's Sarah. She uh, is engaged to get married. She's 20 years old. And meanwhile, uh, even though she's engaged to be married, she's on a telephone chat line, and she meets a guy named Fernando. She talks to him five times a day for weeks. 
until she finally agrees to meet him at a park in Sacramento, California. And then when the day came for them to meet, she panicked and tried to back out. And so what ended up happening was uh, she told Fernando that she uh, had been kidnapped. That's why she couldn't meet him. So, um, she, of course, she didn't bother to think out what would happen if you tell a lie like this. So what happened was uh, Fernando called the police. And about 60 officers, many of whom were on their day off, came in from their day off to search for Sarah, not realizing that this was all a big stunt, that it was all a big lie. Sarah ended up going to jail, and uh, she could end up getting a year in jail after she goes to trial. She does not deny what she did. She got caught. But the amazing thing is the fiancé is still going to marry her. I mean, is he nuts or what? 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. This is Mike on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. How's it going, buddy? Great. Hey, man, uh, I have a – man, man, I, I got a dilemma here, you know. See, uh, my uh, my uh, buddy, right, he's locked up, you know, and this girl is hot as ever. So, you know, she came over to my house for some consoling, and um, I ended up blowing it into her, man. I mean, is that – I mean, I mean, I mean, me and this guy, we've been friends ever since, like, we were 15 years old. You know, we're like 20 right now. So, you know, I, I don't know if she's going to blab her mouth about it. You know, I don't know, you know. I mean, so, you know, what do I do in this sort of thing? Just, I mean, I don't know what to do here, Tom. You know, I don't know if she's going to say anything What she said something. I'm, I mean. Are you cutting out a bit here, Mike? What is the question? Um... Uh, you, what do I? I'm mean, like, uh, you, you know, I'm afraid that she's gonna. All right, we're gonna have to get a better connection because I can't understand what you're trying to ask me here. Uh, let me get Adrian in here on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, what's going on, Tom? Not much, Adrian. Oh man, I've been listening to your show for a little bit. First time caller. Thank you. Listen, I am I'm at home looking at this picture right now. This girl. Is something else. I mean, look at this. Look at her ears. She can catch direct TV signals on there. <laughs> and you got to pay for the service. <laughs> they made a movie about her. It was called Dumbo. <laughs> Never seen an elephant fly. <laughs> Man, I, I hope her dumbass does get get put in jail for this. Because, I mean, you know, all the all the women that call up in here. Because uh, I've I've heard your show a little bit, and I've heard some females get all mad and everything at you. This is exactly why, you know, your show is so successful and, you know, why it's true, you know, men should not have spouses. And, I mean, if, if this dude, if he's going to if he's gonna forgive the bitch for doing something stupid, you know, let it be somebody fine. This girl is like a rat. <laughs> she is hideous. Jesus Christ, man. <laughs> hey, Tom, love what you're doing. You know, my, my friend's been talking about you and everything, so, uh, Hmm, got to go out with the bang. Let me hear that Kobe right there. That that mess is funny. All right, Adrian, there you go. Oh. Oh. This is about us. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. Yeah, it beats in my heart. Oh. Yeah, the air I breathe. Oh. She's so special to me. one 800 800 Tom, it's Janine on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, Tom. Long-time listener, first-time caller. Thank you, Janine. I just wanted to say I think Fugly needs to go to jail. <laughs> because you know what's going to happen is this is the kind of girl that's going to go out and have 10 kids. And then she's going to pollute the gene pool. That's right. That's my fear. It's, it's always the <laughs> girls who are like this who are the, you know, have no brains whatsoever. By the way, if she hasn't already. <laughs> exactly. So now she's going to go out and she's going to get with stupid, get married, and have a bunch of kids and mooch off the system. Right. Yeah, that's pretty much my input. I think she needs to go to jail so we can prevent that from happening. Yeah, I think she's going, at least for a little while. Hope so, anyway. Our email address is my name. It's Tom at BlowMeUpTom.com. Tom at BlowMeUpTom.com. By the way, if you'd like to hear our show streaming live... Uh, all you need to do is go to our website, blowmeuptom.com. That's blowmeuptom.com. Click on the Listen Live button between 3 and 8 p.m. Pacific time, and you'll be listening live. The Tom Likas Show.